And welcome to this week's Illinois Wesleyan Titan Coaches Show. I'm Eric Stock, joined by Lindsay Keller, who's the head women's lacrosse coach at Illinois Wesleyan, one of the few coaches who uh, still has games to prepare for this yep. spring as your team is uh, now moving on to uh, the Sweet 16 this weekend, traveling to Middlebury, Connecticut. Vermont, actually. Uh, Vermont, yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. Middlebury, Vermont, yep. but still up in, uh, up in the New England area after uh, an impressive uh, win this uh, past weekend. Yeah, very excited, very excited. So just to uh, talk, talk about uh, the process that uh, the team has been going through the past couple of weeks and uh, the big wins uh, here in the first rounds of the regional. Um, yeah, I mean, we we took on uh, Hamlin, hosted them here at Wesleyan, which was an amazing experience is having them here, uh, kind of that home court advantage, if you will, um, playing them on our own field, getting to wear our white jerseys one more time, giving the seniors one more chance to play in their home field. Um, now, Hamlin it wasn't a team that we played before, so we really had to rely on scouts, rely on film um, to kind of get a taste of what, what they were like. Um, we saw on film they were fast, they were athletic. Um, that's definitely what we saw out in the field. Um, we, you know, there was that kind of challenging first half. I think the score 18 to 8 seems like it was a blowout, but it was, it was definitely a closer game than that on the field. So, um, it, it was great to play somebody again new in the NCAA tournament. We thought for sure we were going to play, be playing Rhodes again, um, just geographically, but it was nice to play someone new um, and, and have that just see a new face, have a new challenge. So, how much you feel of that experience, getting that under your belt, to helps you for this coming weekend? Oh yeah, that that confidence is definitely a big factor of getting through that first round, um, going that step further than last year, which was which was the goal of ours. Um, preparing for this weekend, I mean, it's tough to prepare for a team like Middlebury, um, number four in the nation. We don't have the opportunity geographically to play a lot of teams like that because lacrosse is so successful on the East Coast. Um, you know, we're trying to do that when we're going out to California. We're trying to make those spring break trips, but of course, a spring break trip to Vermont or Connecticut or anything wouldn't really be Not really. Um, feasible. Um, so, you know, it's, it, we haven't played a team as successful as Middlebury um, in the history of the program, but you know we've we've played Denison this past year, triple overtime game that's going to get us ready for this game. Um, we played Colorado College, we played Rhodes again. Definitely some challenging games that are that have we we put them on the schedule to prepare us for this type of competition. Stylistically, are they a lot different? No, I mean, this, the skill is there. I mean, there, there's sure. players on this team who have been playing since, you know, third grade. You know, they've been brought up playing lacrosse. Um, so it's kind of like soccer or softball out here. The girls who have played from a very young age, um, they, they've got a, a different size than what we've seen. Their players are definitely um, a lot bigger. Um, but I think at the same time, we get a benefit of that because it is hard for a taller person to defend a smaller girl. And we do have some of the, the smaller players on the team that I think, you know, um, will play to our advantage during the game. You have to be pleased with the direction of the program. How it has come this far in such a short amount of time? Absolutely. I mean, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. I think in our mind, you know, starting the program when I came out here as a as a first year uh, team, we had those goals of okay, by our fourth year, we want to be getting to the NCAA tournament. And you know, we we hit that goal earlier. We did it in our third year, and and at this point, winning games in the NCAA tournament um, is just surreal to have have been able to accomplish that in four years and and I continue to hope and continue to um, really push to 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 continue um, getting through the NCAA tournament to that next round that next um, the next challenge every single year while your season is still going on of course this weekend many programs are already looking ahead to next year. If you can give us uh, an assessment and some highlights of your recruiting class coming in here next Absolutely. year. Absolutely, I mean, the incoming recruiting class definitely has a lot of shoes to fill. Um, the, the class we are graduating is the first class that, you know, was ever recruited here at Illinois Wesleyan and um, have had some great, um, have, have been big impacts on the field. I mean, from defense, from the goal, all the way up to attack. So um, big shoes to fill, but we have five incoming recruits uh, right now that, um, you know, four from Chicago kind of area and one from Wisconsin. Uh, that we're hoping to fill those shoes. We have a, a, an incoming goalie. We have um, a, a couple midfielders and an attacker too. So, well, wish you best of luck this weekend Thank at uh, Middlebury, Vermont, and enjoy the charter flight that the NCAA is providing. Thank for you. The team. We, we won't get used to it, but we'll, we'll definitely <laughs> enjoy it. Indeed, unless of course you get a win, then you got to do it every yeah. year. Yeah. So. <laughs> best of luck. Coach. Thank you so much. You bet.